Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate is going to be coming out in just four days from now at the time of recording this video. And I think it's safe to assume that once Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate is released, there is going to be a lot of new players coming into the game. And so those new players are going to wonder, what character should I play? Who are the easiest characters? What characters are out there for beginners? And in this video, I'm gonna answer that very question. Keep in mind that this video was made before Rambo, Rain, and Melina were released. So just because they are not on this list does not mean that they are not beginner friendly or they're not fun to play as. They very well could be. I just don't have the experience to say so. And that's what I'm basing my list off of, experience. Those who have been watching my streams probably know which characters I am going to say, but for those who have not been watching my streams, what are you doing? I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. And keep in mind that on Tuesday, when Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate drops, I will be doing a special stream playing all of Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. I'm gonna be playing all the characters, we're gonna have a lot of fun, so be sure to follow me on Twitch so you do not miss my streams. Keep in mind that this is based off of my experience playing Mortal Kombat 11, so if there are characters that you find beginner friendly and fun to play, or easy to play, make sure you leave that in the comments below and let other new players know what your thoughts are on this subject. All right, let's get this video started with number five, and it's gonna go with the most obvious choice, and that is Scorpion. Of course, Scorpion by default has to be a beginner character. He is the mascot of the franchise, and he always has been a very beginner-friendly character, and that is no different in Mortal Kombat 11. There's a reason why there are a lot of Scorpion players in Combat League. If you want to do some very easy and not too complex combos, Scorpion is a character that has some very easy combos to perform. If you have a hard time dealing with zoners, Scorpion has a teleport and deals with those zoners. If you want your opponent to come towards you, guess what? Scorpion has that famous spear that we all know. If you're looking for more specific tools in a character like good staggers, good pokes, and good mix-ups, Scorpion has all of those. Of course, there are more things you can do with Scorpion, like if you catch your opponent with your teleport, it gives you access to an easy, good damaging combo that sometimes includes a crushing blow in it. I think it's safe to say that most people agree that Scorpion isn't the best character in the game, but it is agreed that he is very strong and he can hold his own against everybody in the roster. So if you want a character that you just want to pick up and at the very least feel safe in every single matchup, Scorpion is definitely the character for you. Moving on to number four, we have Raiden. Now this is where the abilities come into play because specifically I like the Raijin variation loadout for Raiden. So electric burst, quick charge, and electric current are the moves that I really like to use. Quick charge is an amazing move because once you activate it and you block three attacks from your opponent, any attacks from your opponent, then it gives you the option to discharge. And discharge gives you the ability to punish moves and interrupt moves that are typically not interruptible or not punishable due to how fast the move is. For example, this Baraka move, forward 4-4, is not punishable. However, with a fully charged quick charge, it is punishable and you can amplify it to make your opponent go further back and activate the quick charge again. Sounds overpowered, but trust me, it's balanced and Raiden needs it. What quick charge also does is modify some of Raiden's moves like electric burst and electric current. With electric burst, it pushes your opponent back a little further so it makes you safe. And with electric current, it gives you an extra little lightning bolt that travels across the ground. And what I usually like to do with a fully charged quick charge is I like to do forward four into electric burst while they're blocking, push them back, and when they try to take their turn back by walking forward or doing an attack, 
I use my discharge and I deny them. That is so fun to me and it is very, very effective. There are, of course, other cool things you can do with Raiden that don't even include the abilities that I've been talking about, but this is what I like to do. This is the stuff that I find fun with Raiden, and I think that's what Mortal Kombat 11 is all about, especially since custom variations are going to be available throughout all the modes. But in general, Raiden does have good damaging combos, good pokes, good staggers, and a strong character in most matchups. Let's go on to number three, and we'll pick a female character. Character, and that character is Sonya Blade. I love playing Sonya in Mortal Kombat 11. Never would I have thought that I would be playing Sonya at all. I've always liked the character, but I never really played the character until now. Look, I know new players hate zoning, but if you want to be the asshole and you want to zone your opponent out, Sonya has some of the best zoning in the game and her zoning has a crushing blow attached to it. That is insanely powerful. It is extremely obnoxious. So if you want to annoy your opponent, guess what? You have that option with Sonya. And if you're not playing far away and you want to play close up, Sonya has some of the best mix-ups in the game that lead to big damaging combos, especially her overhead mix-up. It's kind of stupid how Sonya has some of the best zoning and the best mix-ups at the same time. No other character would be able to get away with that, but somehow Sonya does. And the best part about it is that everything she does is easy to do, so literally anybody can pick up a controller and do what most Sonya players do to win games. Look, I kind of play Sonya, yes. I'm not good with Sonya at all, but I still win games with her. And to me, yeah, it's a little stupid, but a win is a win, I guess. Number two is going to be my favorite character of all time and one of my main characters, and that is Lu. Kang. Liu Kang is so incredibly fun in Mortal Kombat 11. He's so incredibly strong in Mortal Kombat 11. Some people say he's potato. Some people say he's broken. Some people say he's brain dead. Whatever it is, he is beginner friendly. Like Sonya, he also has good zoning. And I can go on and on and on about what Liu Kang has to work with up close because he has a ton. Most notably, the one that everyone talks about is his forward four and the extended version of that, which is his forward four up three, which is a crushing blow if you punish your opponent or you counter an opponent who's trying to mash buttons. But I think my favorite move from Liu Kang is his bicycle kick. It's so fun to land. It's so funny to see it land, and it's so good and satisfying to get the bicycle kick crushing blow, which is usually the ender to an already existing high damaging combo. So Liu Kang has the damage, he has the pressure, he has the tools to work with every situation that he's in. And the reason why people call him Potato and Brain Dead is because, yeah, admittedly, you don't have to think too hard when playing Liu Kang. If an opponent is mashing buttons and being all crazy and stuff, deny them with your forward four, it's easy. Or if you want, go ahead and zone them out with your zoning tools, it's also easy. He even has a teleport, which also denies zoners, so it's, so Liu, Liu Kang literally has nothing going against him. All right, finally at number one, we have Scarlet. Yes, my girl Scarlet, I think, is the most fun character to play in Mortal Kombat 11. She also has great zoning. She also has good mix-ups. She also has good damage. Guess what, though? She's not the best character in the game. Admittedly, I think she is the worst character in the game, but she's so much fun to play. And it's so satisfying to get wins with Scarlet, knowing that you kind of are at a disadvantage. Now, if you're playing casually or if you're just playing for fun, it doesn't really matter whether or not a character is strong or not. It all really matters if you're having fun with a character. And that's why I put Scarlet at number one, is that you can still have fun 
playing this character, even though this is probably the worst character in the game. I love catching them with my tentacle and knocking them back. I love landing my suck move, bringing them in, getting my health back, and making them guess for their life as to what to do next. And I love landing my fatal blow which does an incredible amount of damage and barely scales when attached to an already long damaging combo and i also love looking at her beautiful face in the game i mean come on man she's just gorgeous anyways those are my top five recommendations for beginner players or those are my top five easiest Mortal Kombat characters to play in Mortal Kombat 11. If you guys have other characters that you find easy and fun to play, please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know, and I'm pretty sure new players would also appreciate that as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe for all things Mortal Kombat. Alrighty guys, I will see you all in the next video.